We are leaving Charleston, Missouri. Just in time. See that little sliver of light start to show on the horizon. trucking up into Illinois. It's going to take about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes to get up to uh, to uh, our destination. Duquoin. Duquoin. I've never heard of that. I don't know. Man, that guy's parked right there. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, Inconvenient that guy to be part of it. Anyway, um, all right, we got this. We got it. We got it. Uh, Des Moines, Illinois. Never been there. Never even heard of it. That's where we're headed. And uh, just going up to a Coca Cola facility. So we're just transferring product from one Coca Cola facility to another Coca Cola facility. And, uh, yeah, just a little short hop. We did, we did uh, uh, probably, I don't know, 100 miles yesterday, maybe 120, and then we'll do like, you know, 80 or 90 miles a day. It's really a short run, so uh, we're just gonna get right back on uh, Highway 57 right here. If we turned left from here and went that way, we would actually get to the Mississippi River just in a few miles. We would cross one river into the bottom tip of Illinois and then cross another river over towards Paducah, Kentucky. So we're really not that far from the house when you think about it. Uh, when we're right here in uh, Charleston, Missouri. But, we're, uh, we're gonna head up 57. We'll be in Illinois before we know it, and then uh, and then uh, we'll be we'll be cooking with fire today. Cooking with fire. All right, let's uh, let's get on down the road. Uh, we have another pickup uh, that comes out of St. Louis this afternoon, so we just got to. Uh, we gotta get over here. We have an 8 a.m. appointment. Uh, it's 6 a.m. now. We should be there uh, about a half hour early, give or take. So, leaving ourselves a little wiggle room. And then, uh, yeah, we should, we should be able to get this offloaded fairly quickly, I think, since we're not going to like a distribution center of any, any sort. We're going to an actual Coca-Cola facility. I'm imagining it'll get off the truck really quick. And then, uh, and then we'll just go uh, head over into St. Louis and make our pickup. So that's the plan for the day. And uh, I'm just gonna sit here and get driving. After that rainstorm came through, the temperature dropped last night. It was uh, it was raining when I went to bed and a little windy. And then, uh, yeah, and then once all that cleared out, the cold air was behind it, and it was like it woke up to some. Uh, some cold temperatures, cold temperatures. It was about 33 degrees, so it got chilly. But uh, anyway, we can uh, we can talk more about weather a little bit later, I guess. <laughs> Weatherman Bellocks on the scene. All right, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit.
Moines, Illinois. And uh, coming up to the Coca Cola plant over here. This one isn't as big as the last one. The last one had a big old entrance. Shipping and receiving. All right, cool. At least it has a sign for me. I like signs. Nice, big, legible signs. All drivers must sign in and sign out. There's a little call box. I'm thinking I'll just go in, but then again, maybe I want to give them a call before I just go in. All right, nobody answered, and the gate stayed open, so I'm just going to assume that I'm supposed to come in here and check in somewhere in here. So that's what we'll do. See if we can find somewhere in here to go. Um, maybe I'll pull forward a little bit more. I can just pull up over here, pretty much be out of everyone's way if I hug the left over here. There's an outside carrier right here uh, in this dock, in dock three. Dock two is open, so maybe I'll. Uh, Maybe I'll be backing into one of those. All right, let's go get checked in. Find somewhere to go. All right, you just walk right in the door there. The guy in the forklift pulled up. I handed him my paperwork. He said, all right, put it in door two, slide your tandems, put the seal in the back. I can do that. So that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're doing. Let's get it in there. And my hair. I've needed a haircut for like a month. <laughs>
got it in the dock. They uh, already got the red light on me. This is going to be quick. So I was just looking at the map. Uh, we do have 100 miles. It's like 99 miles exactly to our next pickup. So a little bit of a deadhead. Um, it was when I saw Illinois, I just thought, you know, I've seen good loads coming out of St. Louis, but um, not so much this week. So I haven't. Let me see. Hold on. This guy. What's up? Yeah. Just right there. They just walked through that door and then. The guy in the uh, forklift just comes up and takes papers from here. I, you don't have to sign in. At least I didn't. Um, yeah. I know it says on the sign, you must sign in and out. And then right. I just, I like tried to call the call box, no one answered. So I just drove in the open gate and then I was like, I just walk in and see what happens. I don't know. That's what I just did. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> all right. Yeah. It's hard to go through here. All right, cool. Oh, thank you. Yep. No problem. He looked back at the truck. Ah, damn. <laughs> uh, it's a nice truck. It's for sale still, guys. You guys, you guys want to buy it. Um, but uh, anyway. Uh, St. Louis. So I've seen some loads coming out of St. Louis that are okay. Um, when I've looked in the past, kind of like it's trying to see what. I've, I've looked at the lanes around the Midwest a lot on the DAT, running running different scenarios. Well, if I take this load and I go over there, what could I find coming out? Where could I go from there to get me over here and then go back home and all that stuff? So I kind of thought there might be a little more freight coming out of St. Louis, but there wasn't much. Um, at least that I, that I there's, there's some stuff going west, actually. So, um, but as far as like trying to stay closer to home, we have weekend plans. I'm trying not to be gone too much uh, during the week. I don't want to. I don't want to get stuck out on the road, so I'm trying to get back. And um, so anyway, so I ended up booking a load for a little under three dollars a mile. It's like two seventy five a mile, and uh, you know it's not great, but um, it gets me back towards the house. So that's that's that was the main goal, and um, yeah, yeah. There's a there's always there's always something going on that that keeps me close to home. That's why uh, I've never I've never claimed to be an OTR driver and uh, never plan on becoming one. Um, and I know I could make better revenue if I just left the house for two weeks at a time. But that just ain't my style, man. Ain't my style. And uh, I started losing my 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 head about six or seven days in. I'm done. I'm 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 like. I'm like counting the days till I can find a load to get me home. I'm like, I'll take, I'll take a dollar a mile freight just to go home. Um, anyway, so yeah, uh, we're almost, we're almost done. Um, getting unloaded, I think, cause he's been going in and out of the trailer for a few minutes and shoot, it's just a bunch of Coca-Cola. It ain't much, ain't much to do. There he is again, going in. So anyway, uh, I'll catch up with you guys and uh, once we get out of here and then we'll hit the road and head over to St. Louis to make our pickup. All right, we are taking off from uh, Coca-Cola and the coin. And, um, oh, why is it saying rerouting? Oh man, I thought I was supposed to turn right out of there. Maybe my map needed to be flipped around. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold up right here real quick and just make sure I know where I'm going. I thought I was supposed to turn right out of there, but I might have had a bad, uh, my, uh, my, my map might have been out of way. Hold on. All right, this is 100% the the way I was supposed to go. Uh, for whatever reason, the map recalibrated itself like it likes to do and uh, had me going a different way but this is actually the way that I chose to go there's multiple routes all through the country over here and then I can go up and take like interstate I think it's 64 up here that runs into St. Louis but that route is a little bit longer that's the 100 mile route the one I'm on now is 88 miles, and um, uh, to be honest, it's 
it's not it's it's not as much about the distance for me as it is uh, trying to get to uh, the shipper. The shipper is um, uh, like in the middle of a bunch of um, neighborhoods, kind of. So like, I really had to look at like which direction looks like it would be the best truck route. Um, and maybe it's a little deceiving. That's possible because, you know, maybe maybe the roads, even though like this road has houses on it, so it might look like a residential street on you know the map, but really it's a truck route. But um, usually these kind of roads are numbered. Like this one's Highway 51. So uh, I'm looking to try and stay on numbered roads as long as I can to get as close to uh, the the pickup as I can. But there's a certain point where I gotta, I gotta go through some some roads. So anyway, so I'm choosing the route that seems to have the least amount of uh, residential streets between me and the and the shipper. So that's why I'm going the way I'm going. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll keep things uh, we'll keep things moving. So I'll catch up with you guys down the road. Just outside St. Louis, and uh, we're still on the Illinois side of the river, but that'll change shortly. We'll cross over into Missouri. I should say back into Missouri because we started today in Missouri, and now we went into Illinois. Pay the higher fuel tax running on the roads in Illinois, but it's all good. It's all good had to go up and make our delivery in Illinois and then get out of Illinois back to Missouri. I like saying Missouri. I don't know why. It's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Someone uh, commented on the way I said Louisville. He said, man, you say Louisville like, uh, like, a, real, like a real Kentuckian. And I said, uh, yeah, I had a family friend in California teach me how to say it. It was Louisville, as long as I can remember. That's how we, you know, Louisville. That's how we said it, Louisville. And, uh, and she, she told me, she goes, no. When you move back there, you can't say Louisville. You gotta say Louisville. And I was like, so you just take a mouthful of food and say Louisville. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? Louisville. Just say it with your mouthful. That's it. It's kind of like speak, speaking Portuguese. If you know Spanish, and you want to learn how to speak Portuguese, you just take a mouthful of beans and rice and then try and speak Spanish and you'll speak Portuguese. <laughs> I just made some Portuguese uh, people angry, didn't I? Didn't I? Sorry. Anyway, all right, here we are. We're going to cross back over the Mississippi River up here. And uh, shoot, I mean, St. Louis is on the river, so we'll be breaking into St. Louis and uh, we're going to be on like the south west side of St. Louis to, uh, to make our pickup and uh, we're picking up some Jack Daniels labels just paper uh, rolls of paper or boxes of labels or I'm, I don't know how I don't know what it's going to be but it's decently heavy and, uh, and but they said I could do it in my reefer so hopefully they don't reject it because it's the corrugated reefer I don't have a flat floor uh, reefer but the broker that I dealt with deals with, with reefer freight on the regular, so I, I would assume they would know the difference. And, uh, you know, it's, you know what happens when you assume, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. I know it. But, uh, yeah, here we are. Here's the Mississippi. Water level's low, even with the uh, rain we got last couple days water level is still pretty low I mean this thing starts so far north I was looking at the map the other day and I'm like Mississippi River runs through a bunch of the lakes up in Minnesota and stuff where it starts it's kind of crazy so it uh you know it's it's probably has to do with the snowpack up there with you know more than just like the rain down here in the middle of the country, right? I mean, 
I'm not I'm not that smart, but it seems like there would be a lot more that figures into the Mississippi River water level than just uh, rainfall in Missouri, Mississippi, and all these areas. Anyway, all right. We'll keep on getting down the road and uh, catch up with you guys when we get a little closer. Uh, all right. We are um, here at our pickup and uh, I like these little small shippers, man. I like them. They tend to, uh, to be a lot faster than, than others. So uh, it's a little tight, but I think I'll make it work. I think we can make this work. what I can do. All right, I'm just going to go check in real quick and then see what door they want me in. And, uh, yeah. Do the thing, man. We'll do the thing. All right. They said, uh, they said, um, I can just back it up. They're not ready yet. Because I wasn't supposed to be here till uh, between 12 and 2 and it's 1030. But, um, she said she only has to wrap up five more skids, so. Won't take too much longer. She said, you can just back in and I'll start loading you whenever whenever I'm ready. I said, all right, cool. So let's do it. All right, got it into the dock. Uh, they came out and apologized and said, hey, we're not ready. You know, uh, it's going to be a while if you want to take a nap or anything like that. And I said, no, it's cool. I'm, I'm early. You guys are good. You guys don't have to apologize for me being early. And they're like, well, it's going to take us even longer than we thought. I said, that's cool. Uh, no biggie. Um, so I'm gonna head, I'm gonna walk down to, uh, ooh, that wind is chilly. It's still uh, it's still pretty cold out here. The puddle was frozen until I drove through it. <laughs> See all the ice? Ice. But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go and get something to eat, but uh, it's about a half mile walk. So it's gonna be a good little trek. Uh, I changed out of my boots into my vans and these are the extra cushiony vans they're uh, I forget what they call them cushion something or other so they got a little more sport my boots don't have the insoles that my old boots had so I figured these would be better to walk in should have brought my Nikes then I could jog over there um, but anyway all right I'm gonna head down get grab some jack-in-the-box it's the closest thing to me and then uh, we'll come on back and see if they started loading me yet probably take me like an hour by the time I get back but she told me I should take a nap and I was like alright then I'm gonna go get something to eat you know instead of walking I could probably just Grubhub something over to me or Uber Eats it but that's always so expensive man it's like food and stuff is already more expensive than it used to be you can't get out from a fast food place for under 10 bucks and that's like if you're on the dollar menu <laughs> so I'm like I don't know and then you add in these delivery fees and the taxes they charge and the and then you gotta tip the driver because you can't be a jerk, you know, you gotta tip the driver. It ends up costing you 30 bucks to get some fast food. It's like, man, I need the exercise anyways. Let's just go for a walk. Even if it is 32 degrees out here, it's chilly. And that wind chill, I don't know, that wind chill's gotta be dropping the the temperature down decently, because it's uh yeah, it's chilly. Oh, there's not really a sidewalk on this uh, road. There's not really much of a shoulder either. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Eh, it's only a half mile. We can do it. <laughs> All right, so we're not very far away and I'm already thinking this may have been a mistake. Look at this little, uh, this little bridge, little tunnel we have to go through. Um, there's no, not even a shoulder to go on. So I'm gonna wait till no cars are coming from behind me. I'm just gonna run through. <laughs> this, this was a bad idea. Yes, yeah, it was a bad idea. All right, it is uh, one o'clock, just before one o'clock, and we are loaded up. So uh, we just gotta slide our tandems back under the trailer. 
and uh, head on our way. Oh, that one's stuck. All right, we'll have to rock the truck forward and then that'll bust that loose and then we can get going. Get it going. All right, and this is where we're gonna cut this video off. If you wanna see the rest of this load, you're gonna have to tune in tomorrow, folks, because this one is over. Uh, realized I had about an hour of footage, so uh, we gotta cut it off, man. Cut it off. Love you guys, peace out, see you tomorrow.